Quick update today on our longleaf pine restoration project. Uh, we've uh, just recently, yesterday, completed the uh, installation, the planting of another 8,000 wiregrass plugs. Uh, so really, really pleased to get this completed uh, this weekend, January 22nd. And uh, that'll be the final phase of the, of the planting and the restoration. And from here on out, it's just management. So I'm very, very pleased. It's been almost 20 years of work to get to where we are right now. And uh, as you watch here on the video, you'll see some of the planting um, from uh, the moment I picked up the uh, wiregrass plugs at the nursery, the state nursery here in Chiefland, Florida and I picked up 8,000 plugs. I think there's about 125, 150 per box. So quite a number of boxes we had to load. And uh, then the following morning, we started planting, had nice cool temperatures, uh, just perfect, perfect day uh, for planting. A little overcast, so no harsh sunlight on the plants. I had a crew of nine gentlemen that were planting for me and uh, this contract crew did an uh, amazing job and very very fast and efficient uh, with their work uh, had i been doing this it would have been slow uh, cumbersome and would have taken me forever uh, so very grateful that i had such good helpers working with me miguel uh, several others i had good conversations with we had a we had a great morning prayer service before we started. It was a Sunday morning, uh, so opened up with a great prayer service in the morning, um, then got everybody fully equipped and headed out, and uh, it was all I could do to just keep everybody supplied with materials. Uh, they worked so quickly, so I was just following around with the trailer uh, full of plugs, and uh, these guys were moving fast, uh, loading up and going and, and coming back, and uh, did a great, great job. And uh, this wire grass is a very important component of the forest floor in a longleaf pine ecosystem. Uh, one of its great capabilities, uh, it's a great mechanism for carrying fire. So it really helps to do prescribed burning. Uh, fire is an important, important uh, function of this ecosystem and it maintains uh, the longleaf pine ecosystem. So it's very important to have periodic fires and uh, the wiregrass actually likes to be burned and it is adapted to fire. It actually perpetuates and carries fire. So a great plant to have uh, out there on the, uh, on the forest floor uh, within these longleaf pine ecosystems. Uh, so anyway, we, this is about the third or fourth time now that we've installed wiregrass plugs. So I've got some wiregrass out there that's, uh, you know, over a decade old, and you'll see some of it if you look closely in some of these videos, uh, particularly some of the aerial straight down shots, you'll be able to see some of that older wiregrass that's doing quite well. Uh, all the wiregrass we've planted has done really, really well, so very, very pleased uh, with the wiregrass installation. Over the last couple of decades, not only have we planted um, upwards of 20,000 longleaf pine trees on the property, but we've also installed uh, native wildflower seed mixes. So there's been a lot of work to uh, restore this, this property back to a functioning longleaf pine ecosystem. Uh, something that uh, will, will last uh, long after I'm gone for sure and uh, be a bit of a legacy of what Florida used to have as far as habitat. So. I'm very grateful for the project, very grateful to uh, have had all the help I've gotten uh, throughout this project. And now uh, to kind of be on the, the, the back end of it where all we'll do now is just manage uh, a, little bit of, a little bit of probably herbicide work, uh, but mostly just uh, some easy prescribed burning every three to four years. So looking forward to that phase of this and now just uh, watching everything grow and uh, uh, really enjoyed it and uh, glad to be at this stage. So enjoy the little video. You'll see some scenes I made while we were working yesterday, getting the planting in. And uh, you know, this started when my, my, oldest, uh, my oldest kid, my son was um, four or five years old. And I've got some pictures of him on the first round of wiregrass planting uh, with him in the trailer. And he was just a couple of few feet tall maybe. So um, anyway, enjoy the video and uh, we'll check in with you later.